Dewey Bunnell, founding member of America. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here, Tatcha. Thanks for having me. It is great to have you. So we spoke with you back last April, um, ahead of your performance here in Detroit back then, and now you're coming back. What do you like about performing in Detroit? Well, we've played in Detroit for years and years, obviously decades. So it's a, it's a city that's, uh, you know, prominent in our touring schedule when we can get them. So uh, it's it's great to be there. I, I live, uh, my wife and I are here in, I'm in Wisconsin right now, not too far away from you anyway. So we're kind of Midwesterners up here around Great Lakes area. And that's, for me, that's always nice. But um, the guys live in California and one of the guys is in Texas, but it's a great stop on the road, Detroit. Yeah, we're big music town, that's for sure. And you've been doing this for five decades now. What would you say is different about the music industry compared to when you first started out? Well, I've said this for years now, but the biggest single single difference is the digital, you know, the, the environment of digital recording. And I think that the, the general building blocks of what I do and what our band does is the same as it always was, which is writing songs and and uh, performing them live and recording them, you know, coming up with a chorus and a verse and some lyrics and a chord pattern that you like, not necessarily in that order. And then you got a song and you work it up with the band, arrange it. Vocal harmonies are our big thing. We've always uh, loved that sound of uh, multiple voices together. Yeah, so no, no, things were really different back then. But let's circle back to one of your famous songs, You Can Do Magic. Now, does that hold a special place for you? Because, you know, when it came out, you had a change in the group and it did something, you know, blew up your popularity. Does it hold a special place for you? Yeah, it kind of was, if you can call it that, a comeback at that point. That was in the early 80s. The 70s had been huge for us. We came out in 1971 with our first album. And... And of course, it had run its course through the 70s, and the 70s brought on so many different styles of music. But uh, in 82, we did uh, record You Can Do Magic, which uh, set us back on course a little bit. We changed management. Our third member in the, in the day, Dan Peak, had left the band in 77. And that was about the, all that time was quite a transition for us. Uh, you Can Do Magic it was good timing. It just came out. And, so it's a great song. We love it. We play it second in the set for those that are going to come to the show. Well, speaking of your sets, you are concert performers. You guys hit the stage. Do you like it when the crowd is singing along and they know every single word to your songs? Does that create more of a connection while you're performing? Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, it's obviously a, a, a reassuring feeling when they know the music. And oddly enough, as we have toured a lot around the world, in countries that you wouldn't even think. And when we were first booked in a place like, say, Ecuador, Ecuador, we don't even sell records there hardly. I remember us saying, of course, they got bootleg records down there. And yeah. they, we, we were playing these little sort of bull, bull uh, rinks, uh, you know, um, bullfighting rinks and things like that, sports facilities. And there's everybody swaying and singing along and singing the lyrics. And uh, that was a real eye opener. So uh, it's always nice to know that they actually know the material, but we do have a pretty strong following after 50 plus years. So we get a lot of repeat customers. <laughs> a lot of repeat customers, a lot of solid fans and a lot of new ones as well, of course. Now, a lot of times we see concerts where we see like groupings of bands from one particular era. Do you like performing in concerts like that with people who yeah, came up at the same time that you did? Sure. We've we've toured with so many bands over the years and got close with them and big bands and all kinds of bands that have come and gone. And, uh, you know, there's a certain uh, continuity to that, to being it's nice to be on on bills where they're really uh, contrasting. But that doesn't happen all that often. I mean, we'll we'll tour with the band Chicago or the Doobie Brothers or uh, Christopher Cross, people that were all kind of our generation or the Beach Boys uh, and the versions of the Beach Boys over the years, Brian's band and everybody. Um, those are all people from our kind of generation. And it's nice because we can share stories and it's like ships in the night. We, we cross paths all the time. Most definitely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. The band is uh, to seeing you out there in Detroit at the, at the, uh, I know, I know the music hall. 
So see you there when we get there. And thanks for having me.